Hi, it's Deanna from Futures Pass, and I just got this now, and I just started undoing the bubble wrap. I'm not cheating. So this is a reveal of an antique Civil War era photo album, and you're going to see it first with me. Now, the seller says, I think there was like 50 photos in here, and uh, some of them appeared to be from the 1860s and 1870s, and uh, they only had a few photos of what was actually in the album. So I didn't get to see um, every single photo that was going to be in here. So uh, I thought I'd show you and share this with you. So bear with me one moment. Okay, so generally Civil War era photo albums are these smaller types like these. And uh, they have like raised leather, uh, relief panels. It almost looks gothic. A lot of them look uh, gothic in style. As you can see, this one has clips and uh, gold leaf edges on the pages. And it's very gothic, very churchy looking. I love it. So uh, let's begin. So I'm gonna lift up the little levers, open this baby up and let's see what we have. So you're getting a first view with me and very pretty, nice pattern. And I have it upside down. <laughs> Bloopers. All right, so here we go again. Sorry about that. And the first photograph happens to be none other than a CDV, which is a carte de visite, a visitor card, of Abraham Lincoln. Pretty cool. So we have Honest Abe over here. And yeah, so these are like definitely Civil War um, era photos. That guy looks pretty stern, huh? And that may be his wife. And whenever you see um, Victorian era photos um, with people holding books, that's a sign of uh, a couple of things. They could either be churchgoers and that could be a Bible. Um, so the uh, people uh, could be like if you see a man with a book, most likely he was a reverend or a church official, or it was also showing that they were educated, especially ladies. So if a lady held a book, it was showing that she was educated. And let's continue. Excuse the bell in the background. It's my dog. What is she holding? I don't know, maybe a pair of glasses. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize it. Uh, this child's holding what appears to be a doll. Very, very cool. And uh, the middle child actually may be a boy. And little boys used to wear dresses. So it, was, it wasn't uncommon to see a, a small boy wearing dress, a dress in the uh, photographs of uh, this era. And it wasn't uh, considered outlandish at the time. You have that gentleman, nice beard, mutton chops, I guess they call that. This lady may have been a widow, and she's wearing all black with a black widow style veil. And if you look, her cheeks are tinted. I think this is a tin type. And a tin type was actually a photo not on tin, but actually colored iron, like blackened iron. They were pretty sturdy photographs of the time and very common in the 1860s, 1870s, all the way up to the late Victorian era. She has a very cool hairstyle. This is um, indicative of the 1870s because in the 1870s, ladies started uh, wearing their hair with bangs on their forehead. So this is telling me that photo is probably 1870s. This looks Civil War era, or possibly early 1870s. This is um, indicative of the 1860s to the um, actually late 1860s. And ladies would wear their hair um, parted down the center, showing their ears a little. 
Early 1860s ladies wore their hair parted down the center and covered their ears. So this is telling me this is uh, late 1860s, early, early, early 1870s. This may be 1870, very early 1870 or late 1860s. Now this lady again, I think it's the same lady as the earlier photo. She has her hair parted down the center, showing her ears, probably 1868 to 1870. Another probably 1860s, uh, actually late 1860s, early 1870 photo. This lady, um, now here's what I was talking about. Um, 18, early 1860s to mid 1860s, ladies wore their hair parted down the center um, and their ears would be covered. That was a very popular style of that time. And uh, she is wearing an antebellum style dress, um, indicative of probably mid 1860s, the big wide hoop skirt. Starting in the late 1860s to early 1870s, the skirts got uh, less poofy and more narrow. This lady's probably late 1860s, 1870s by um, the parted uh, down the center hairstyle showing her ears. This lady had ringlets. This is probably, well, they wore ringlets in the early 1800s to mid 1800s. But uh, this is probably 1860s. This looks like a tin type and the cheeks are tinted. Probably uh, late 1860s, early 1870. Possibly 1868 to 1870 on that photo. Now this lady has uh, what's known as the Jenny Lind hairstyle. And Jenny Lind was, I believe, a famous ballerina in uh, the 1860s. And you can see her dress is very wide, very indicative of the Civil War era. Lovely, lovely dress. You can see the Gothic chair, which I think is amazing. This is probably 1870, early 1870s. It's a tin type. The cheeks are tinted. You can see the skirt is more narrow now. This guy looks definitely like Civil War era. And uh, Civil War um, time photos uh, had vignettes, uh, small vignettes. As you can see, this has a small vignette. Same thing with this one. It's a nice beard. This looks 1870s to me. This may be early 1870s as well. You can tell by the hairstyle. This child looks uh, 1860s, no doubt. The dress uh, is very, very Civil War time frame. You can see the sartouche. Look at that hairdo, how cute. This lady, definitely Civil War. You can see how the hair covers the ears. It's parted down the center. She's quite lovely. Definitely another uh, Civil War photo. You can see how wide that skirt was. This is probably 1870. Here's another cool photo. She looks about probably 1868, 1870, maybe even earlier because of the uh, braided uh, toggle Buttons going across her uh, her sweater. See a muff? She has a little muffler to keep her hands warm. 
She's wearing gloves. And she has an unusual looking hat. This one's probably late 1860s, early 1870. Her cheeks are tinted. This looks late 1860s, possibly Civil War. His uh, mutton chops. Probably 1870 to 1872 is my guess. This is a tin type. Again, probably late 1860s, 1870. This gentleman looks Civil War um, time or right after Civil War, the Civil War ended. This lady definitely has a Civil War era gown. So it could be mid to late 1860s. With that wide skirt. This is pretty cool. What does that say? I don't know, but it looks like a figure at the top of the time to look it up. So this was a famous person of the time. It's a like a lithograph CDV photo. And this says Ella Jane Havens to Uncle George. This is a very old photo. Definitely like a Civil War time frame. This is probably 1870s, this child. Here's another Civil War era tintype with tinted cheeks. Definitely he has another Civil War, uh, late 1860s, maybe 1870 right after the Civil War. Very antebellum type of gown. This one, uh, since she has bangs, I'd go with 1870, maybe mid 1870s. Here's another like probably 1868 to 1870 photograph, Gothic chair, which was the style back then. And this is great. So when you see this stamp here, this stamp um, was a tax stamp that photographers uh, had to place on these photographs. They had to pay taxes. And when you see something above one cent, one cent was the beginning of the Civil War. And this means the uh, end of the summer of the 1860s. So right at the end of the Civil War to right after the Civil War, you'd see two cent stamps. Very cool. And none other than Abe Lincoln shows himself again. And this is a lithographic CDV photo. Um, so this was a Union family. <laughs> um, and you see a Union soldier, um, Abe Lincoln and his family. You see a gentleman here with a top hat, probably 1870. Another Civil War um, time frame or after. Somewhere as 1868 to 1870. Now, since this lady has bangs, I'm going to go with early 1870s to mid 1870s. And this lady's name was Luca. And she was a beauty of her time. Probably uh, since she has the bangs, I'm going to go with early 1870s to mid 1870s with that fancy um, braided updo. And last but not least, we have a tin type, probably 1870s. It's a lady part with her hair parted down the center, showing her ears. And here's the whole album. Now, if I took these photos out and slid them out, there would probably be a lot with those tax stamps. And if I saw a tax stamp with a one cent, then I really know it's during the Civil War. 
and I'm sure several of these were taken during the Civil War or just after it. So very interesting book. Glad I was able to share it with you. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe.